Pinto beans are a staple in the Latin American cuisine. You can make them the hard way or you can make them my way, the easy way. You're gonna love this recipe. The very cornerstone of this recipe is Bush's Pinto beans. Yes, they come in a can, and yes, they are prepared. That means they're already cooked. We're gonna turn good beans into great beans. So if you use this recipe as a guide, you can make more or you can make less depending on what your needs are. I'm using two 117 ounce cans of Bush's Pinto beans. So we're adding in a little bit of water by way of the can that helps rinse the can off and it keeps your liquid level up. You don't want to ever get them dried out. Well, you'll want to follow that up with some chicken broth. Now the broth is a flavor enhancer. Just don't overdo the chicken broth because you don't want to overpower your recipe with that chicken flavor. Now I'm going to take some fresh garlic cloves. I'll trim off both ends and then I'll crush them and add them back into the pot of beans. They'll just float around in there adding some flavor, but be sure and remove the cloves before serving. Next, we're gonna add in about half a package of frozen onions, but feel free to use fresh onions if you choose. I also like a generous amount of ground black pepper. Okay, this next part's where all the magic happens. This is where you elevate this recipe to next level cooking. You want to take that ham bone that you saved when you carved up that spiral slice ham. You know, the ham that you had at Christmas, New Year's, and Easter. You did save that ham bone, didn't you? I've got a video on carving up your spiral slice ham that can walk you through that part. I always save the ham bone in the freezer, defrost it, and then into the beans it goes. And we're just going to heat them up on high heat, stir it occasionally, and then reduce it to low heat just as it starts to give up some bubbles. Cook with the lid on for as long as needed because you want to get some of that meat falling off the bone. And then maybe after one or two hours, you want to take it out, use a knife or a fork, and remove the ham from the bone. Okay, a good rule of the thumb is, if you don't want to eat it, nobody else does either. So all the good parts go back into the beans and discard everything else, including that bone. Now just let it simmer for another 15 to 30 minutes and they're ready to serve with rice on the bottom and cornbread on top. And I also like to add a generous amount of jalapenos to mine. So what exactly did we do here? We opened some can of cooked beans, we put in some cooked ham bone along with some water, broth, onions, garlic, and black pepper. Now, as the cook, you're the one that brought it all together. All these flavors merge together, each one elevating the other. This recipe is so good you wonder why you ever did it the hard way. Now all you got to do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and then watch my video on bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. You're going to love this recipe. Ruff, 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 ruff.